Stage one of the Amgen Tour of California is one day away, and Rally UHC Cycling is putting their finishing touches on race prep for their talented young team. The only World Tour race in North America will challenge the riders with fierce climbing and intense sprint finishes, but only the most well-prepared teams will conquer the Golden State. When you have good mechanics like we do, they hand you your bike, you get on it, and you go. And that is a really good feeling. If it wasn't like that, you know, you'd be checking quick releases and wiggling wheels and this and that, checking brakes, all this stuff. Having that trust in, and it extends, you know, to the whole staff. It's the same with food or bottles. You know, you don't want to be like opening food and giving it a, a, the sniff test, you know, like when your stuff's dialed, you know, they hand you something and you know it's good. Okay, two mix, done, you know. Got a bottle of water, whatever, I know it's water. And it's like such a reality check when you come home and, you know, get on your home bike and you're like, oh wow, like this is what, this is what it's like when I'm in charge. While the mechanics dial in the bikes to each rider's preference, the directors lock in their race strategy and check in with their athletes. In the team hotel, Swanier Janice Byrne Sparks leads the charge on the rider's nutrition throughout race week. It takes some hunting down of ingredients and a little bit of creativity. Because you don't want to feed them the same every day, you want to give them a little variety and they appreciate it. Once you get to this level, uh, it's, it's having the volume in your legs and the hours in your legs. You know, I think you have to be able to, to get up and spend the time where you're, you're suffering for hours a day, you know, for, for a good number of months every year. But if you don't put the hours in, then a race like this, especially on the third day, is gonna chew you up and spit you up pretty quick. I do a mix up of volume and intensity, and then I'm also in the gym. So your average week, I wanna say, gym and bike, like a big week would be like 35 plus hours. When you're training, you can be so much more controlled. You can ride this climb at exactly this time and exactly this power. Where in racing, it's kind of all over the place. You're following the wheels, thinking about what's next. You already have the fatigue from the other stages or you're thinking about the next stages. It's a tough balance, I think, how much is too much to train and it's always easier to do more, more, more. And then you end up being physically and mentally tired, and then you make bad decisions in races. You kind of give up easier sometimes when it's really hard because you have that mental fatigue. A week leading into a race is definitely a bit lower volume than normal. When you train a lot and your body gets kind of used to those 25-hour weeks, if you, if you just do seven, then uh, you're gonna feel pretty bad for a while. So definitely probably cut out the six-hour days, take off a bit of the intensity, but still doing probably what most people would consider a pretty hard week, you know, 16 hours with a couple four hour days and, and some good hard efforts to, to keep the body ticking over. One of the few times as a bike racer where you're actually not training full gas is right before a race. So I have to be careful because I just get more and more excited and rested and hyper and insane. So I just have to kind of keep a damper on everything and just chill out. For me, um, I really need to kind of check out and, you know, my brother calls it, says I flip the switch, where um, that makes me, when I come back to cycling, I could put 100% into it. When I turn off those switches, I'm, I, I just completely turn it off and I, and I reset. So to me, um, that reset is super important. I've tried to, to do 100%. And everything I do is going to be to perfect my cycling, and I drive myself crazy. Even though we're a smaller team compared to the World Tour guys, we still have 16 riders and only seven get to come to this race, so it is very competitive to make the roster, and yeah, you can't just show up at this race just because there's not any kind of like extra roster spots to just give away to people. Everyone has to be fit and motivated and has a role and a purpose here. So it feels really good to be part of a strong team at a race like this. There's no more time for second guessing and the riders' months of training lead up to this. It's where the rubber meets the road. Keep going, Evan, keep going. 
start to squeeze that little bit extra out if you can. It's time to race.